Have you ever wondered what a forensics DNA profile actually looks like? Well, it looks something like this. These numbers and peaks are great and all, but what do they actually mean? Each number represents an allelic polymorphism, or an alternative form of the gene at that chromosomal location known as a locus. Each person gets one allele from their father and one allele from their mother. In forensics, we use non-medically relevant chromosomal locations, or loci, that can be targeted and amplified using the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. PCR acts like a molecular copy machine that creates millions of copies of the DNA. The DNA is then separated using capillary electrophoresis, or CE, which pulls the negatively charged DNA through the capillary. Larger fragments travel slower through the capillary, while smaller fragments travel faster. This separation is the basis of a DNA profile, with smaller fragments represented on the left side of the electropharogram, or EPG, and larger fragments represented on the right. These EPGs represent a DNA profile that can be used for comparisons. But what happens if the sample DNA contains more than one person? Well, we'll discuss the world of mixture deconvolution in the next one. Thanks for watching and tune in next time for more forensics content.